Hey guys, I'm doing another cooking video for you today. We are going to turn butternut squash into a soup and you are only going to need two ingredients so it's super easy to make. Okay guys, so for this recipe you're going to need your butternut squash and one can of coconut milk. Light coconut milk is preferred, but if you have regular coconut milk it really isn't that big of a deal. You're also going to need one can of water. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay guys, so while we're waiting for the oven to heat to 400 degrees, I went ahead and cut the butternut squash in half. The next thing I have to do is I have to scoop out all of these little seeds here. And then as soon as we're done with that, we can go ahead and put it in the oven to roast. Okay, so now that I've hollowed out the butternut squash, I'm going to transfer it over onto a baking sheet. Okay guys, though I did mention this recipe is really easy to make, it does require a little bit of time. For example, we're going to have to put the butternut squash in the oven for one full hour. So during that hour, do whatever you need to. I'm probably going to get my hair out of a mom bun and play with Luca a little bit. So once that hour is up, we'll come back and check on the butternut squash. Okay, really quick butternut squash appreciation because this looks so beautiful and my house smells amazing. Also, look who's up from his nap. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Open your eyes, silly. <gasps> Good morning. <laughs> okay, so once your butternut squash cools down a little bit, all you have to do is cut it up into little squares like this, and you're going to take this part of the butternut squash and put it all in a blender. I'm not going to put the skin in. I think you can eat the skin, but I'm definitely not using the skin for this recipe. All right, so once you're done putting all your butternut squash in the blender, blend it down just a little bit so you have enough room for your coconut milk. Go ahead and put that can of coconut milk into your mixture. All right, so after you put your coconut milk, you're gonna wanna fill up the can with some water. Just go ahead and pour that in. And then you're gonna have to blend all that up. Okay guys, I went ahead and poured it into a bowl and you can see how thick and creamy it is and that's all because of the coconut milk. I'm also going to add just a little bit of sea salt into the soup just to give it some more flavor. And then you are done. That's your butternut squash soup. Also, I forgot to mention the Q&A video. So my husband and I recorded the whole thing and my husband got home pretty late. So the quality of the video was really, really bad and I don't want to upload it just because you can hear my dogs barking in the back. The video just looks really grainy. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to answer the questions in the comments below because if I re-record, it's not going to be the same because some of the questions are like, how do you, or what do you love most about your spouse? And if I re-record that, it's not going to be the same. It's not going to be as sentimental as the first time because we're just going to have to repeat everything that we said. So, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and list all the questions and then I'll answer them in the comments below. Again, as always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel. We put up new videos every week.